friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a really fun video that i'm really excited about and it is going to be the summer teacher tag video so i'm really excited for this video for a couple different reasons first there are some really awesome educators that are also going to be doing this tag and i will have all of their videos linked down below if you want to check them out after this one and secondly because we are going to be chatting all about the craziness of this last year and summer and our plans for summer which i'm so excited for summer i feel like more than any other year ever i am very much looking forward to summer break and having some relaxing time so if you want to answer the questions that are included in this teacher tag i will have them all in the description box as well and you can type them out and respond to them in a comment i would love to read them and see what your plans are for the summer and how your year went but if you guys are new here hello my name is Haley. i am a second year kindergarten teacher in washington state and i'm so glad you're here if you are new and if you aren't new here welcome back thank you for being here i appreciate it so much and so let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, question one is where slash what do you teach? So I currently am teaching kindergarten in Washington State. And so I taught kindergarten last year. I vlogged my whole experience if you guys have been here. And it was amazing. I absolutely fell in love with kindergarten. I actually student taught in first grade. So I was a little bit nervous about going to kindergarten. But honestly, I have just fell in love. And that's where I've been the past two years. But I actually just accepted a new job in Florida. And so my husband and I are going to be relocating this summer and moving to Florida across the country. And I'm also going to be teaching kindergarten there, which I'm so, so excited for. So currently teaching kindergarten and we'll be teaching kindergarten next year, just in a new state. Okay, the next question is how much of your year was fully remote? versus hybrid versus in person. So at the beginning of the year, I was completely 100% online. I was actually completely online from September all the way until the last week of March. So about three fourths or so of my year was completely 100% virtual. And then the last week of March, the week before spring break, we came back for hybrid. Um, I currently do not teach synchronously online and in person. My kids just come in person in the morning and they are with me until about lunchtime. And then at lunchtime they go home and then we are online in the afternoon. So that is currently where we're at. And as far as I know, it will not be changing because we only have three weeks left, but honestly, who knows at this point. So we were online for about three fourths of the year and our last quarter or so we have been in person. Okay, the next question is, what are you planning on doing for that first weekend of summer break? Honestly, you guys, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we are moving to Florida. So for that first weekend of summer break, I will be packing. <laughs> uh, we are going to be leaving exactly one week after the last day of school. So my school gets out on June 17th for summer. And that Friday, I will probably be packing up the last few things in my classroom. Hopefully at that point, most of my classroom will be almost packed up. So I will be spending Friday packing and then that weekend packing up our apartment and loading up our U-Haul box. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a really crazy time. And then on June 24th, one week after the last day of school, we will be on our way to Florida. So very busy first weekend, but also a very exciting one. Okay, the next question is how does your summer morning routine differ from your school year morning routine? So honestly, my summer morning routine is very very different from my school morning routine i do not enjoy waking up at about 6 a.m every day without choice <laughs> um one thing that definitely changes is that i do not wake up to an alarm pretty much most of the summer as much as i can help it i will just wake up when i wake up i am a pretty early bird just naturally and so i do wake up pretty early it just depends what you consider early i usually am up ready to go at about eight um, so that's one thing that is definitely different during the summer. I do not wake up to an alarm. Another thing during the summer is that I definitely have a lot more slow mornings. So I love to just make my coffee, go on a walk with my husband, in, or I will just listen to a podcast or something like that during my walk. And then I will come back and make some breakfast and then usually just work on whatever, whether that's like something for school or for YouTube or just for fun. Um, I usually will just try to fill my days and they're a little bit more relaxing. <laughs> okay, the next question is what's on your reading list? So if you guys don't know, I am a pretty avid reader. I actually read a ton when I was a kid. I was a total bookworm. 
and I would read all the time. Then during college, I kind of fell out of the habit of that because I was having to read so many textbooks. I just didn't like reading anymore. And then at the beginning of last year, so the beginning of 2020, I decided to make the goal to read one book a month. And I definitely made that goal. I had a couple of extra books because by the end of the year, I was just reading a ton. And so this year I have made the goal to read two books every month and so so far I've been able to do that and so I have a couple of books on my to read list that honestly I feel like I'm a little bit behind the times on I feel like everyone has read these books before but one book that I definitely want to read this summer is A Court of Thrones and Roses. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called and it is the start of a series. If you guys have read it, definitely let me know down below and if you liked it because I've heard nothing <laughs> but good things and I've heard that people absolutely adore the series and so I definitely want to read that book. And if I really like it, then I'll probably try to read a couple more of the books in the series during the summertime. And then another book that I'm really, really excited about just came out like a month ago. And it is called The Box in the Woods. And it is from the Truly Devious series. If you guys haven't read that series, it is really, really good. The first book especially is super good, but the rest of the books are good too. But this is the fourth book in the series and it is the final book. And so I'm definitely going to read that one to see how the story ends. And then the last book that's on my to read list for sure is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I feel like everyone also has read this book, but I never have. And I was looking on Goodreads and I realized that it's like a whole series and I didn't know that. And so I actually have it in my closet. I found it at a thrift store one time. And so it is just sitting in there ready for me to read it. And so I'm definitely going to try and get to those three books this summer. The next question is what's on your watch list? So honestly, you guys, I am kind of a creature of habit I like to watch over and over the same shows so I've re-watched Friends like I don't even know how many times I've re-watched Grey's Anatomy a few different times I've re-watched um, just a lot of different shows I would rather like watch something I've already watched before versus starting something new let me know if any of you guys are like that because I definitely know like my husband is not that way and I'm very much that way but um we are currently watching Criminal Minds I don't know if you guys have ever watched it it's kind of an oldie but I grew up watching it when I was in like high school I would watch it but I always would watch them like out of order so I never understood like the backstories of the characters and so I definitely want to finish that series and watch it in order and then I also want to finish the series Supernatural if you guys have ever watched. Okay the next question is what have you been putting off for months that you hope to do during the summer? Honestly you guys I feel like the entirety of my summer is going to be taken up by moving to be completely honest because we are leaving June 24th. <laughs> my school ends June 17th and my new school in Florida starts on August 3rd so I actually don't have that long of a summer I think it's like six weeks or something because we have some trainings at the end of July as well I'm pretty sure so I don't have a very long summer so honestly just moving and setting up our apartment getting new furniture we are selling like everything so we're gonna have to get everything new so the entirety of my summer is honestly just gonna be moving and enjoying the warm hot hot <laughs> weather um so yeah that's what I hope to do. Okay, the next question is do you have a summer job or a side hustle? I do not have a summer job um, I do have a side hustle though, and it is YouTube I do make a little bit of money from the YouTube videos that I do and so that's kind of where any extra money comes from during the summer, but um, I don't currently have a summer job. Okay, the next question is what is your ideal summer self-care day? So my ideal summer self-care day is going to the beach like during the morning time or like you know and staying until like lunchtime or so and going to the beach. I love the beach. I love the ocean. I love the sand. It's just so relaxing. The sun is magical. So going to the beach in the morning and then when we get home having like a grill out with like some friends or family and just kind of relaxing and making good food and hanging out with friends is super fun and then to end the night just kind of hanging out um, with my husband Warren and reading or watching a movie or a show with him is like my ideal self-care day. <laughs> the next question is what is your favorite thing to do outside? So if you guys don't know I absolutely love gardening. I love plants. I love gardening. I love growing things. I think it's so much fun and so I really love gardening for sure. 
I also love hiking, biking, walking, going to the beach, going to the pool. I honestly just love being outside. It's so much fun. Last year, for the first time, we went camping. It was my very first time, but it was Warren and I's first time ever going together. And it was so much fun. I was so nervous <laughs> because the idea of sleeping in a tent kind of scared me, not gonna lie. And honestly, it was so relaxing. It was so nice to just like be away from everything and just being able to unplug and be out in nature. It was so much fun. And so I'm not sure if we'll be able to camp this year or this summer, but we definitely will love to do that again. Another thing that I really want to get into this year, maybe possibly, is like rollerblading again. Where we're moving to, there's all these really cute trails. They're paved around like lakes and things. And I think it'd be so much fun to get into that again. I used to do it as a kid and I think it'd be super fun to do it again. So maybe rollerblading. <laughs> the next question is, what is your favorite thing to do inside? So honestly, my favorite thing to do inside is read. I love books, I think they're so much fun, and so I definitely enjoy reading. I really enjoy playing board games too. I'm a big board game fanatic, you guys. I don't know if I've ever shared that on here, but some of my favorite games, I love Catan. I feel like everyone loves Catan, it's so much fun, I really love it. And then I recently, this year, was introduced to a new game that's probably one of my favorite games, and it is called Pillage Village. If you guys have never played it, it's so much fun, it's so easy to learn, it's really quick, it's fun, I would highly recommend it. And then also, oh yeah, another game that I really like <laughs> is code names. If you guys have never played code names, it's so much fun. It's really fun to play with a big group of friends. I would definitely recommend all of those games. So definitely reading and board games are my favorite things to do. The last question is what professional development do you want to take if any? So honestly, I have spent the last two summers after college and last summer especially taking a lot of professional development. Like last summer, I took an insane amount of professional development and I don't think I want to take any this summer. I honestly am just so burnt out from this last year. I just honestly want to soak up my summer and get ready for this new school year in a totally new environment, a new school, a new state, new everything. And so I'm not planning on taking any professional developments this summer, but I do think I will be taking some through my new district. I think they do some at the beginning of the year. So besides the ones that I am required to go to, I honestly will not be doing any this summer. All right, you guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was really fun to just kind of reflect back on the year and get really excited for summer. I'm so excited. And I would love to hear your guys' responses to these questions as well. So feel free to copy them and put them in a comment and write your responses. I would love to read them and also make sure to check out the other educators that are participating in this tag as well. I will have their videos linked down in the description. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you can see more of my videos honestly you guys we are gonna have some real fun videos coming up soon i'm going to be packing up my entire classroom i'm going to be setting up a new classroom and we're gonna have lots of moving vlogs packing vlogs showing you guys our new apartment just lots of fun things are to come so please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any videos and i will see you guys in my next video bye Today and not tomorrow.